Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-innovation.com. Today in this lecture, I'm going to talk about how you can generate a beautiful Allure HTML report in WebDriver IO. Okay. So in our previous lectures, we have seen that we are using a spec reporter, which is basically giving us console based report. So let me tell you exactly what we are going to do in this video. So the moment you reach uh, official documentation of WebDriver IO, and you will see all these sections, right? Introduction, core concept. You will also find one section called reporter. So the moment you click on reporter, you will see multiple reporters here. The right now, the default spec reporter that we have is this one, okay? Which is spec reporter. And you must have seen this if you're already working with WebDriver IO, where it will give you everything on the console, where you it will give you test suite name, the number of test cases and so on, right? This looks great when you have a smaller project but the moment you work on enterprise applications you have a bigger test suite and if you want to generate larger reports in that case you need some other reports which is giving you more detail about your test and uh, if some tests are getting failed you should know the reason plus you should also get some kind of screenshots or videos as well right so if you see we also have something called uh, yeah, video reporter as well which can be combined with a lower report that we will see. But you can see there's a restriction with the spec reporter. It looks fine when you are on the local, but we need some report that can be shared across the team and the stakeholders as well, right? So if you see this spec reporter that we are already using. So if you come here and this package.json file, we already have this spec reporter, fine. So that's the reason we are able to use it here, which is spec reporter. So just press control F and search for reporter. And here we go. Now the one that we are going to use is Allure report. Okay. So the moment you click on reporter, the first reporter itself is Allure reporter. And as you can see, it's going to generate a beautiful HTML report, which will have kind of charts, graphs and screenshot if you have implemented that as well right so it's very easy uh, only few steps that you need to implement and everything is documented here so you don't need to follow anything else first thing is you need to add this dev dependency okay in my case i already have so if i show you my packet.json file i already have this but in your case you will not be having this so let me remove this and let me show you the from the scratch so i'm just having right now spec reporter i have removed uh, a layer reporter so either you can add in the layer dependencies or you can simply run this command called npm install so I'm going to copy this or you can click on this copy it's up to you go to the project root uh, directory which is this in our case and I will simply going to execute this command the moment you execute this command it is going to add that allure report uh, dependency inside this dev dependency section. So let it run in the meanwhile, let me show you what else we need to add. So step number one is add as a dependency. Second is the configuration part. So in the configuration part, if you see we are just going to use Allure reporter and we are going to pass these additional flag. So the first flag is output directory that what exactly your directory name. So it is Allure result. And if you want to see what exactly each flag is doing, you can see here they have given the description as well. So as you can see output directory default is Azure, sorry, Allure results. So once the test is complete, you'll find a directory and that directory will have some kind of XML file. Okay. For each spec, you will find XML file, which will have all kind of information about that spec file, which I will show you in a couple of minutes. And then additional two flags. So if you are interested, please explore the other flags also, which is available. As of now, we are going to use them. Now, this is very important. Okay. Which is disable web driver screen reporting right now. It's set to true, but once we add the screenshot, we have to make it false. So please watch this flag carefully for the timing. I'm just going to copy this from here till here. Okay. And let me copy. And let's come back here. Okay. So as you can see, the, the moment we executed this command, it added this allure reporter here and we are good to go. So close this, come back to webdriver.io.config. Instead of using a spec, 
we copied this right so let me copy once again straight away go ahead and paste here fine so this is the output directory which it will create somewhere on the left hand side and this i will make it false okay why we are making false i will show you because if you see one option here called add a screenshot right now apart from this i'm also going to add one more feature inside this that the moment our test is getting failed it should capture the screenshot and it should add in the report as well so if you see this section a screenshot can be attached to the report by using take a screenshot function which is coming from webdriver io so this is another function which is coming from webdriver io and it is uh, you know they are adding in the after step hook now what exactly these hooks so if you open this config file let me minimize this let me minimize again can you see this hook section so webdriver io will provide you multiple hooks that you can use uh, you know in a different way so suppose you want to run something before executing all your tests after executing all your test before running the test suite after running the test suite it's up to you right so you can use this hooks in order to run kind of precondition and post conditions so if you see here we have um, before session then we have before suite then we have before command right before test in the same way we also have um, after as well so if you see after hook uh, after test we also have after suite and so on but we don't have something called after step here so if you just try here and try to search we don't have after step here so instead of doing after step i will make changes in the after test can you see it's already available but it is commented so i'm just going to uncomment this section and let me copy this small if condition okay even though if you don't do this you will still get the report but along with this setting okay which we did right now i'm also adding this thing just to make sure that if due to some xyz reasons if my test is getting failed it should capture the screenshot and it should add in the report as well that's all so step number one uh, go back packet.json make sure you have the allure reporter second step make sure we have uh, reporter added in our case we have already added reporter here and in order to add the screenshot we just need to make this particular flag as false and in the after st uh, test we have just added one small condition if any error occur take the screenshot and automatically it should capture and attach in the report as well that's what we need to do so let me go back to the original size now finally let me run my test and as we have seen earlier how do we run the test we just need to run a config file which is webdriver.io.config.js file so let's see how we can run that so i'm going to use npx webdriver.io run and then we have to run this webdriver.io.config.js file so dot slash webdriver io dot config dot js it's going to run all these spec files okay so as you can see now that uh, that started running in chrome so 000102 and it should run all the tests and then we will see how we are going to get the report okay so all the three sessions are running parallelly so let's wait now if you're following my previous videos then we have already seen this um three spec file what we have written inside element.js what we have written inside first test.js multiple element so it's going to run quickly And right now there's no failure so in the next iteration we are going to make few changes 
so that it should fail some of the tests and then we should get the report right now all will be passed so you will not see that screenshot feature that we have added so that we will do in the next uh, iteration so as of now all passed and you can see we got something called allure results right if you want to see this uh, click on reveal file explorer this is basically a folder for us and if you notice carefully for each spec file it created one xml document okay this is little technical information even if you don't know this it's perfectly fine but let me show you this xml files okay so this xml file is having the status of the result so the status of the test that you have executed so you can say passed here and this is also passed right in the same way if you open this and this it might have passed and failed so the next thing i will say the final step that we need to do is displaying the report so we need to run this command called allure generate then we need to provide the directory which we are using or which we have where the results are available and this is like second step but if you want to run in one go you can just add and and allure open so it's going to open the report for you but i'm going to uh, run them in two parts so that uh, you can see how exactly these reports are getting generated so let's run this allure open generate then i'm going to give this directory where our xml files are available or we'll say the results are available here it is allure results hit enter and finally can you see this allure report is available and uh, you can open them see the final output and if you want to directly open from here you can use allure open okay still it's waiting yeah if you just type earlier open starting a web server and it's going to launch that report and yes can you see this now if you don't want to run this final command through earlier open it's up to you you can simply right click and you can open in the normal browser as well but right now can you see the beautiful report and if you try to connect this can you see this elements.js file if i open this elements.js file let me show you this okay what is the test suite name test suite name is elements commands so as you can see elements command inside this we just have one test called filling form so the moment i click this it will have one test called filling form then we have first test.js which is the test suite name is smoke test so if you come back we have smoke test here we have three test cases verify url verify title and verify login and all is available here and you can see the chrome version how much time it took and so on the last test suite is uh, find multiple elements which is this and it has two test cases so total three plus two plus one six test cases and all looks good but let's do a fail test so that i can show you the report part so i will go back to this test case and you can see we have one of the tests called verify login now i'm going to add one random locator okay so i will change one existing locator which does not exist so definitely it will fail the moment it will fail it will capture the screenshot and we should see the screenshot in our reports so i will press ctrl c so that i can close the previous server which is running clear the previous history everything and let's run the previous command which is webdriver io run again it's going to run all my test and we should get the report so let's wait for a couple of minutes Okay, so as you can see now the test has been failed and which was expected because we made a small change right because of that it is failing now let's see how it is coming in the report 
so I will just clear this and let's run the previous command so the first I will say allure generate allure results the moment I hit enter you will notice one thing that we already have this allure report we already have this allure results and again I'm trying to run this allure generate allure results the moment you hit enter it's going to give you one small message that hey target directory already exists or it is already in use kindly add hyphen hyphen clean option to override okay so before generating this just add hyphen hyphen clean so it is going to override the previous results okay so finally it has done the overriding part so we'll get the fresh reports so let's open this or let's wait for the confirmation once we get the confirmation uh, message then we are going to open this report so let's wait yeah it says report successful generated open this let's do it from here right click open with live server okay so as you can see the test has been failed now right and the moment you click here you will see here that it got failed and it says same thing that can't call set value on element with this selector and you remember we made these changes right and beautiful thing is a screenshot now it says at this particular step something went wrong and it is capturing the screenshot as well so basically inside this spec file which is smoke test if i go back to this uh, first test.js we had three test cases right so verify you know, url worked verify title worked only this verify login did not work and the reason was it could not found the element and it captured the screenshot so as you can see it's very easy again let me quickly repeat what exactly we did so that you will have a clear picture in your mind the first thing that we added is the allo reporter okay and the steps are very easy you just need to click on the installation section add this run this command it is going to add as a dependency second thing is go back to webdriver io.config file search for a reporter okay uh, just a second reporter and as you can see we have allure reporter and this is the output directory and one flag if you see they have given true true i made this as false because we want the screenshots and just to enable this feature that we want screenshot in terms of failure so in one of the hooks which is after test so again if you search for after test we have added that if any error occurred, capture the screenshot and add in the report so that's what we did and finally we are able to see this uh, report which having screenshot for failures so that's all for this video guys i hope you got something new out of this video if yes then do support this channel by subscribing share with your friends colleague teammates and if you face any other issue let me know in the comment section and i will see you in the next video have a nice day bye bye